Hello everyone, and Chocolate Birds here for another video review. This time we have the ability to digest this cherry bake or slices. Yes, these are new ones to accompany their uh, biscuit range of the same flavours. Um, it's a quite an interesting one, this one. I saw these a bit later on in the biscuits, so I thought, well, you know, in for a penny and for a pound, I'll have to go review them as well, so, and why not? <laughs> so done the three flavours, I think there's strawberries and cream, cherry bakewell and marmalade on toast. So I've still got the marmalade on toast to do. Um, I have done the cherry, uh, the strawberries and cream one, got one left over, <laughs> for testing purposes, as you'll see in a, uh, in a few minutes. Um, yeah, before I go on, I'm just, uh, before I forget as well, really, I've done about almost 600 videos at this time recording, so in, an, in what I think it's up here, actually, I think it is, but probably, you know, my luck will be up there. But uh, in one of these corners, anyway, <laughs> um, will be a link to uh, my full playlist of all my reviews and all my other videos as well. So um, yeah, please check them out if you uh, if you like this uh, review, and um, of course subscribe and like my videos as well. Things like this, you know, you know the drill. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's go with this. So uh, yeah, so it's very very warm today in my house. It's it's like um, you know, it's a really it's a really warm day in the, in the UK. Warm, warm week really. Uh, so by by which is probably quite cold by other people's standards, but. It means, uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to struggle to review any uh, chocolate-based things today. So it's a perfect time to review these because there's only chocolate on the top. So it's not going to melt all over the place. So fingers crossed anyway. <laughs> yeah, so it's quite a nice packaging. But I think I've said before, it's the same with this, with the biscuits and also the other slices, that it seems like almost like an afterthought where, you know, I expect it to be like a Great British Flavours range or something, something a bit more on the packaging to represent this a bit more. But as you can see, all you've got is like the sort of British flag and these are the Union Jack. In these various other in the sort of colours more appropriate to the range. So this one it's like the purpley colours. And this one here, the marmalade and toast one, it's like orangey ones and just slightly reddy ones, well orangey really. Um yeah, so but there's no British flavours, there's no picture of a cherry bake so it's almost as if it was a bit of an afterthought, I didn't really put much into it really. So I don't know why they've yeah, I don't know, I felt like there should be more I felt I feel a bit disappointed about it. It looks nice. My favourite colour is purple, so um you know all these purples on there. Um, I think that's all of the are sort of already purple, I prefer purples on the more blue range, but um, yeah, but still, um, still nice. Um, yeah, individual wrap. So, uh, yeah, so what does it say on the back? Um, blah blah blah. Cherry bake off flavour digestive slices topped with milk chocolate. So, there we go. Um, yeah, so it's got milk and stuff like that in it, so not suitable for vegans. Make it in peanuts, nuts, and egg. So, got the calories. Uh, 124 calories per slice, 6.5 grams of fat, 2.8 of which are saturous. How many is in a box? Five of them. Five of them. There we go. Yeah, it's not too bad. They just give you a uh, per hundred grams as well for, for whatever reason. And, um, so I won't probably go into that. Then www.123healthybalance.com. Uh, it's got a thing, party guarantee, get in touch. Talks about it says suitable vegetarians on it, so there we go. So that's fine for them. Uh, product contains 48% digestive pieces, so there we go. So roughly half of it is digestive. <laughs> so yeah, so interesting, interesting. Mm. So a bit flapjacky, I think you'd say these are. So very um, yeah, reminiscent of flapjacks. Um, so it seems to be sort of going into that range, really. So there we go. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, look quite interesting. As I say, nice packaging. I like the colours. It's quite slim, but you can hear. There's lots of room in here, and I, you know, this. If you saw my old review, you know this is a ma massive bugbear of mine, especially on cake bars. Um, but you can hear that, you know. Yeah. So there's lots of space in here, up and down as well. You know what I mean? Shift from side to side that way. You know, it's crazy that, that there's so much space. And I was thinking, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe it's because it's these things here. I've, got, I've kept it from the last review. Maybe it's because of this here. I don't want to go into too much detail now, but I'm kind of going into it, really. Um, and maybe it's because of these, like, are all standard thing. They, have, they just have, they just produce these. So in order to take advantage of the fact that they're making different sizes, they um, just use the same one every time. And maybe that's why it is. But we'll come to that in a minute when we open it. So speaking of which, I think we should do it. <laughs> so let's do it. Right, I'll have one. Hopefully, going to uh, open this now. So, if I'm um, hopefully I'm centered. <laughs> well, we are going to open it. But hopefully, I'm centered. <laughs> Apologies, I'm not. Um, okay, so let's give it an open then. Let's see what it's like. So, bit of flourishes on the side. So yeah, so I mean, you know, I don't, don't want to labour it too much about how rich of the fat. That <laughs> I mean, you know, you can see there. Look at that. You know. So this is why I kept one from last time. So I've kept one from the other box. It's the same size, you know, it's the same thing, just a different uh, colour wrapper, just different flavour. Um, and there we go, so let's see. Can we fit it in? Yeah. There you go. So it's a bit, um, I feel like I'm 
losing the point of it there because it's not yeah so you could fit it in i'm not i've I had to squeeze it in slightly but it's only because i mean you can see there's still gaps between these and i think it was just the fact that uh the card was a bit bent all around was just a bit you know they, they weren't quite lying flat so you can see you know some of them are sort of you know up a bit but i'd say i think that's pretty pretty conclusive that you could fit another one in there definitely so there we go so that's how much wasted space there is and of course there is wasted space on top as well um you know i could you know and obviously that wouldn't fit in the bag because of the height but uh, you can you can see what i'm saying there that you know you can fit you know yeah there's enough space in there at the top you know if you consider it's twice there's two of these so it's an extra bar on top as well you think but obviously we wouldn't fit one in physically but the the area would allow for another bar as well so you can fit another bar definitely on the side there um so you can see that and then of course but area wise volume wise whatever you want to say there is enough space for the, the ingredients or the uh, amount of ingredients that would fit into another bar here so obviously it'd be two halves or something like that but even so so yeah so that's my major bugbear now of course you know as i say i'm uh, i'm going off on the tent here but it just really annoys me this now i was thinking you know maybe it's because they, they produce these as a standard you know size so they've just they'd, rather than making individual ones i'm quite sure it'd be easy just to trim these or whatever which is probably what they do to be honest with you so i don't think this is an excuse anyway but i was thinking maybe they just have these as a standard size but lo and behold look at this spoiler alert by the way <laughs> i've got my vitties jaffa cakes to review soon these cake bars and i looked at them and i thought you know what this one is actually uh, it's the same height you can tell it's the same box but it is trimmed a bit shorter you know, it's a bit longer this one so you can see so basically you know they don't have for just one standard size they obviously cut them two size or whatever in one way or another um so there you go so it's mcvitties as well so it's the same company mcvitties mcvitties i can see just to check mcvitties at the top mcvitties at the top so the same company so there we go so it's no excuse even that and of course and what i was thinking is actually i, I reckon you could fit all these so as the, there's, there's space in these ones here I reckon you could fit all these into this box here and it would be a perfect fit so i reckon uh, you know so even they could use this size for this one um because there is definitely space here so when i review these whatever that is i'll have a look into that so it's a bit so i think it's mcvitty's pulling shenanigans here um because they clearly as i say produce have a box here that's bigger than it needs to be when they could probably use this box which they also produce which is which is too big for these products as well so they seem to have a thing where they'll produce it slightly bigger and i don't think you might think oh yeah you want to make room for the thing so um you know don't get scrunched up but that's not true either because i've seen ones other cake bars where they are packed in tight you know um french fancies do it for instance or there's other ones i can't remember which one i reviewed not long ago where they all come in just just perfectly fine just perfectly tight and um yeah so it's not an excuse other companies do it um, and it's no problem so that size, that's an immediate, I think, I think it's disgusting the amount of extra spaces in here. So, you know, um, yeah. Right, okay, so let's have a look at the, and then of course we've got the flourishes on the packaging as well. Um, we did have a ruler somewhere, it's disappeared. I literally had it before. Um, where's it gone? <laughs> I'll just go find it, will we, a moment? <sighs> I didn't need to get up at all, it's just here. <laughs> yeah, so basically, you've got these flourishes on the side as well. A massive yeah so the flourish is about six about nine centimeters with the flourish but i'm sure you're out of that i can only tell already it's probably about 6.6 .6 centimeters more or less well maybe 6.8 actually but um but you know it's got the wrapper on so yeah well, it looks quite nice without the uh i think you would say anyway all those complaints aside <clears throat> hmm. yeah but obviously that that's just it's just inexcusable especially as i say when i've seen this one which uh, you know also has too much space and i could i reckon could fit into these ones so they obviously do it on purpose for all the reasons it's better more shelf space on the, on the thing on the on the aisles and stuff like that and uh, just to make you think you're getting more than you are i think it's just yeah just disgusting really okay well <clears throat> i think enough of that let's give it a taste shall we so i think all the packaging's roughly the same as the outer box which looks quite nice individually sometimes they don't make any effort at all in the inner packaging and this one, you know, looks okay. All right, so let's do it. Mm -hmm. Let's give it an open and a taste. Oh, okay, in fact, we don't need to, let's open this up here, actually. Just <laughs> okay. 
Let's have a look what it looks like. So yeah, so let's see. So as I say, it's very melty today, so I'm gonna try not to touch the chocolate. So yeah, so the length was Yeah, it's about nine centimetres, wasn't it? So without the wrapper, say on the bottom. Yeah, it's about six and a half centimetres there. There's a bit of a lip on the top of the chocolate, so that's probably a couple of millimetres more. So six between six and a half and six point seven, I'd say. So there we go. Yeah, width wise, that's about two and a half centimetres wide, maybe two point six in places, and height around one and a half. Yeah, so it just looks quite nice. You can see that it's very dense though, isn't it? You know, it doesn't look as, you know, it's very dense. It looks too dense, I think you would say that, with the, the actual sort of flapjacky part. I don't know what the, yeah, uh, I don't know. Hmm. I expect it to be a bit more spacious and, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, a bit of a separation. So there we are. So there's much to say on the inside, I think. So relatively thick. Yeah, and it smells quite nice. It's got lots of almondy. Bakewell tart smell. So Bakewell tart, for those of you who don't know, by the way, it's a more um, well, cherry Bakewell really. It's based on a, it's basically a Bakewell tart or a cherry Bakewell. It's the same thing. It's like a little cake. Um, it's got sort of raspberry, more well, cherries in it. Sorry, um, a little possibly one of those glass, what they call glacier cherries or whatever, um, on top. Some marzipan, um, yeah, and pastry of course. And yeah, it's just basically flavored with almonds and things like that. So it's quite nice. Uh, let's put a picture on one already. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit wonky there, but yeah. So chocolates are quite thick on the top, talking a couple of millimetres thick, thicker on the edges. Yeah, about a millimetre, millimetre and a half maybe. Obviously at the back it's about a bit bigger there, it's a lip on the top. Okay, so it's quite nice, but a bit dense. I think we should give it a taste. <laughs> Let's do it. Right, okay, well, I'm going to give these, uh, what's, what are they called? Cherry Bakewell digestive slices a taste. So here's half of one, so let's give it a go. It smells quite nice, as I say. Lovely, um, the almondy cherry smell that you get from cherry bake walls. Hmm, I have to say it does smell very nice. Uh, yeah, I think the biscuits, I think they smell okay as well. Um, but I think the taste seems to seem to not to last. So we'll see what happens with this one. So, okay, let's give it a taste. Let's do it. Hmm. 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 Not bad actually. Not bad. Hmm. The taste is quite um, it's quite strong in the chocolate on top. Hmm. It is reminiscent of um hmm. cherry bake or taste. It's quite it's quite not bad actually. Hmm. I think the bottom's quite thick. It doesn't really taste of digestive, it's quite soft. I think mean, there's lots of it seems to be something lots of butter in there or whatever to stick it together. Um hmm. What are the flavourings in the chocolate though? I mean, it's not too bad actually. I think it tastes, um, I mean, there's enough chocolate there, and perhaps a bit dry on the thing here, on the biscuit itself, but it's not too bad. As I say, I mean, there's lots of butter there, it doesn't taste very moist. Let's give it a bit of a dunkage. Biscuit base, so why not? <laughs> biscuit base, not biscuit base. Hmm. <laughs> So okay, it doesn't really penetrate the biscuit very well, because it's so dense. Hmm. It's not perfect for dunking. Hmm, overall though, they're not bad. Hmm. I think the digestive part's a bit, um, hmm. It'd be nice if it was a bit more flapjacky, I think. Hmm, it doesn't really taste like digestive, so it's not really the gaining anything by keeping it, hmm. It's like it's very—it's sort of like it's all lots of digestive crumbs stuck together with lots of butter or something or something. Um, I think I prefer if it was more like a flapjack. Um, mm. But the di the um, cherry bacon flavour is very nice actually. It's very good. Um, I think it tastes really nice and it works really well in the, uh, in the chocolate on top. And I think it was a bit a bit weak in the biscuit. Um, I felt anyway, possibly because it was in the chocolate and the digestive chocolate digestive that um, this you know basically is so thin with their layer of chocolate on it that it's very hard to taste the, um, the cherry bagel I felt but um, especially after you'd had a couple of them I felt it really sort of you got so used to it you just couldn't really taste it you know uh, but this one you can it's still quite a thin layer of chocolate but um, hmm, I think it's thick enough 
But so I think the digestive sort of base part, what it's not really the base, it's most of the thing really. Um, but I think that would taste, I should taste a bit, um, yeah, I don't know, a bit, it's, it's just too cloggy, I think. And, and also the fact that it does make up more than half the biscuit, half the slice. It does say that contains 48% digestive pieces. So, you know, it tells me that really half of it isn't digestive. So I think it's a lot of butter in there or something like that. So, you know, so it's really sort of, yeah, I don't know. I prefer if it was a bit more OT or something, but then it would be more like a hobnob. Um, and if it's a bit more like a flapjack, then it would be a bit more hobnobby. So if it's a hobnob slice, I, mean, I think the hobnob slices would be better is the long and short of it. You know, just because I think of what they're made of. Whereas this one, a bit more flapjacky, whereas this one, it's just a bit, um, hmm. I don't know. It didn't really taste of digestive, and it didn't really taste of flapjack. It was just like a halfway house, and didn't really. I say not. Well, it would taste of flapjack. Flapjack is the question, of course, because it's not really flapjacky as such as digestives. But even so, right, that's what I was expecting or, or would would like from it. I think. Um, but the the flavouring in the chocolate was very nice. Actually, it was very reminiscent of a cherry bake one. Yeah. So this one, it's it's not bad actually. Um, but I've got to mark it down because of the, all the wasted space in here. I think it's atrocious the amount of space they've wasted in there. Um, atrocious. You know, you're talking. You know that you could fit perfectly another bar in, and this space. You know this. You know you couldn't fit another bar in over the, You know you couldn't fit two more in. You could fit one in for sure, and the other one you could fit the the bar in itself. There is space at the top to fit extra enough for another bar, um, but it wouldn't physically fit in. You'd have to cut it up or something. But um. Yeah, so with that in mind, the fact that there is space to fit in two bars, um, you know, one hole and one in pieces, I think it's atrocious, really. Um, so I've got to mark it down at least half a mark for that. So I'm going to say, I think normally I would have given it a four, but I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. Um, so, yeah, I really like it, though. It's very nice and a lovely product, but as I say, that you just it's just unacceptable that they've put that much dead space in there. It really is uh, unacceptable, I think. Um, and there's no excuse for it that I can see at all. As I say, I've tried to see if they just make a standard tray size, even though it is cardboard and very cheap. Um, I thought maybe it was that, but it isn't. Um, so yeah, mm. no, it's very, it's very disappointing that. But overall, it's pretty good. I think it does justice to the flavour it's based on. But as I say, the packaging, while it is nice, I think it seems quite lazy. Really, I don't know. There's just something not quite full, fully finished about it in my view as well. So, but as I say, overall, and and the and as I say, the and the digestive part of the biscuit's a bit too cloggy. Um, feels like it's, you know, I don't know, just full of butter. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's something not quite right about it. But the flavour itself isn't too bad. So, yeah. So, I don't know, it's, but it tastes quite nice. You know, it's just the thing. The flavour on top tastes quite nice. So that's why it might it'd probably be a low four, really, normally. Um, but it's definitely marked down either way um, because of that. So it could even go, you know... In fact, you know what, I think giving it a four would be too much. I don't think it's worth a four. I think it would normally be in a three and a half um, because of the clogginess. Because all that's really lifting it is the cherry on top. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think it would be, yeah, so the cherry flavouring in the chocolate, really. So, yeah, I think normally it would be a three and a half, I think. So I'm going to I'm gonna say a three. I'm docking half a mark because of the packaging. Too much wasted space. So there we go. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's fair. When I, was talking to him, when I was talking about why it was good and why, why it was bad, I thought, I can't possibly give this a four. It's not good enough for a four. So, yeah. And then, of course, mark it down half a mark. So three out of five, I think, for this one. <laughs> I hope that's not too confusing. <laughs> I hope it makes sense. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed that review. If I want you to subscribe as well, like my videos, Instagram as also, and Patreon if you can. Um, and feel free to leave a comment. It's always great to hear from you. So hopefully you enjoy these reviews, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye for now. See ya. Bye. <laughs>